Have you ever wondered what makes Benin a unique travel destination? Nestled in the heart of West Africa, Benin is an unexplored treasure trove waiting for you to discover. This video is your personal guide to the top 10 places to visit in this fascinating country. As you traverse the land you'll find yourself immersed in a rich tapestry of culture and heritage. From the vibrant markets to the tranquil natural landscapes, you'll encounter a world that is as diverse as it is beautiful. Whether you're a history buff, a nature lover or simply an eager traveler, Benin has something to offer you. Our journey will take us from the grandeur of royal palaces to the tranquil beauty of national parks, the bustling streets of vibrant cities, and even to places that bear witness to historical events of profound significance. So, get ready as we embark on a journey to explore the top 10 must-visit places in Benin. Starting our countdown at number 10, we have the Royal Palaces of Abame. These aren't just any palaces, mind you, they are a vivid testament to the grandeur of the once powerful Dahomey Kingdom. Each palace, with its unique architecture, tells its own story, whispering tales of the reigns of 12 different kings. Now imagine that, 12 kings, 12 palaces, each one a chapter in a historical epic, and the world has recognized this historical treasure. Yes, the royal palaces of Abame enjoy the status of being a UNESCO World Heritage Site. That's no small feat. It's a testament to their cultural and historical significance. The palaces are a reflection of the craftsmanship of the Fon people, their understanding of the world, and their leadership style. Indeed, a visit to Benin won't be complete without exploring the royal palaces of Abame. It's a journey through time, a walk alongside kings, and a glimpse into the soul of a kingdom. At number 9 we have the Penjari National Park. This park, tucked away in the northwestern corner of Benin, is a treasure trove of biodiversity. Here you'll find a multitude of wildlife including elephants, lions and an array of bird species, each more fascinating than the last. The Penjari National Park offers a safari experience like no other, taking you on a thrilling adventure through its sprawling landscapes. As you traverse through the park, you'll be greeted by stunning vistas that seem as though they've been painted onto the horizon. The park's landscapes and enchanting blend of woodland, savanna, and riverine systems are a sight to behold. And let's not forget the sheer thrill of spotting a majestic elephant or a pride of lions in their natural habitat. The Penjari National Park is a testament to the raw, unspoiled beauty of Mother Nature. For nature and wildlife enthusiasts, Penjari National Park is a must-visit. Coming in at number 8 is Ganvi. This enchanting destination is often referred to as the Venice of Africa, a charming label that barely scratches the surface of its true allure. Ganvi is a fascinating lake village where the structures are not built on land, but on stilts. Imagine a cityscape where instead of asphalt there's water, instead of automobiles, there are canoes. The inhabitants of this unique settlement have forged a way of life that is in perfect harmony with their environment. They've adapted their daily routines, their methods of transportation, even their architecture to suit the lake's ebb and flow. It's a living, breathing testament to human adaptability and resilience. In Ganvi, you'll find a community that has not only survived but thrived in conditions that others may deem challenging. It's not just a place, but a testament to human ingenuity. Ganvi is truly a testament to human adaptability and resilience. At number 7 we have Ouida. With a deeply rooted history and diverse culture, Ouida serves as a poignant reminder of the slave trade era. Once a major hub for the slave trade, this city now stands as a testament to resilience and transformation. Venture into the Python Temple, a sacred place of worship that houses hundreds of royal pythons. With these serpents revered as symbols of wisdom and protection, it's a fascinating insight into local religious practices. Let's not forget the sacred forest, a mystical place steeped in legends and folklore. This forest is not just a haven of biodiversity but also a sanctuary of spiritual significance. Here you'll find statues and monuments that represent various Vodun deities, each with a unique story to tell. Ouida is a place that will leave you with a deeper understanding of West African history. Its rich past and vibrant cultural heritage make it an unforgettable stop on any journey through Benin. Coming in at number 6 is Cotonou. Here we have the economic hub of Benin, a city pulsating with life and energy. The hustle and bustle of Cotonou are tangible, with its vibrant city life constantly on the move. The city teems with bustling markets like Dantokpa, the largest open-air market in West Africa, where you can find everything from fresh produce to traditional textiles. Cotonou isn't just about commerce though. 
It has an intriguing mix of the old and the new. The Cotonou Cathedral known as the Notre Dame des Apotres stands as a beacon of beauty amidst the city's hustle. This distinct burgundy and white structure is a testament to the city's rich colonial history and a must-see for anyone visiting the city. And then there's the seamless blend of tradition and modernity that makes Cotonou so unique. It's a place where old customs coexist with new trends, creating a dynamic and exciting atmosphere. Cotonou is a city that perfectly blends tradition and modernity. Halfway through our countdown at number 5 we have Porto Novo. This vibrant city is the official capital of Benin, a fact often overshadowed by the bustling economic hub of Cotonou. Porto Novo is a treasure chest brimming with colonial architecture. Each structure is a testament to the historical blend of African, Brazilian, and French influences that have shaped the city. One of the must-see destinations is the Ethnographic Museum, which houses a vast collection of Yoruba artifacts. Here you can delve into the local history and culture learning about traditional customs, religious practices, and artistic expressions. Porto Novo is not just about the buildings and artifacts, it is about the people and their unique cultural practices. From the vibrant local markets to the traditional Vodun ceremonies, the city offers a rich cultural experience that is both captivating and enlightening. Porto Novo is a city that promises a rich cultural experience. At number 4, we have Gran Popo. This gem of Benin is known for its stunning beaches, where the sand is as golden as the African sun. A perfect blend of tranquility and beauty, these beaches offer a serene escape from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. But the charm of Gran Popo doesn't stop at the shoreline. Venture a bit inland, and you'll find the mouth of the Mano River. This vital waterway is a lifeline for the local communities, providing both a source of food and a means of transportation. Lastly, no visit to Gran Popo would be complete without a nod to the cultural richness of the area. Voodoo practices, deeply rooted in the local traditions, offer a unique glimpse into the spiritual life of the people. Here you can witness ceremonies and rituals that have been passed down through generations. Gran Popo is a place where you can relax and immerse yourself in local traditions. Coming in at number 3 is Natitingu. This remarkable city, nestled in the hills of northwestern Benin, is a sight to behold. One can hardly overlook the stunning landscapes that surround it, a tapestry of green valleys and rocky hills that seem to stretch into infinity. But there's more to Natitingu than its natural beauty. This city is home to the Samba people, known for their unique architecture. Their homes, often called Tata Sambas, are enchanting multi-storied castles made of mud, reed, and thatch. These structures, standing tall against the backdrop of the hills, add a distinct charm to the city's landscape. Equally captivating is the city's array of local artisanal crafts. The Samba people have a rich tradition of craftsmanship, and their hand-woven textiles, intricate beadwork and pottery are a testament to their skills. Natitingu is not just a destination, but an experience. It's a place that offers a unique glimpse into the lives of the Samba people. Just missing the top spot, at number 2, we have Dasa. This enchanting city is renowned for its 41 hills that form a breathtaking backdrop, each with its own unique story. These hills are not just an impressive sight, they also hold significant spiritual importance. Every year, thousands of pilgrims flock to Dasa, drawn by the city's sacred significance. Here they find solace, peace and spiritual enrichment, making their way to the renowned pilgrimage site nestled amidst the hills. But Dasa is not just about spirituality, its natural beauty is second to none. The city's landscapes are a blend of rolling hills, lush greeneries, and picturesque vistas that are sure to captivate the heart of any traveler. Sunsets here are particularly mesmerizing as the last rays of the day bathe the hills in a golden glow, creating a scene straight out of a painting. Dasa is a place that offers both spiritual and natural beauty. Indeed, it is a must-visit destination when you travel to Benin. And finally, at number one, we have the Door of No Return. This site, situated in Ouida, carries a heavy weight of history. It once marked the threshold that countless souls were forced to cross during the transatlantic slave trade, leaving their homeland behind forever. Its name is a chilling testament to the finality of that journey. The Door of No Return is more than just a monument, it's a deeply moving experience. Walking through its archway you can almost feel the echoes of the past, the stories of those who were taken from their homes and thrust into an unknown world. But it's also a place of reflection and understanding, a location that forces us to confront the darker parts of human history. It serves as a potent reminder of the resilience of the human spirit, 
and the importance of remembering our past, no matter how painful it may be. The Door of No Return is a poignant reminder of a dark chapter in our history, and a must-visit site in Benin. And there you have it, the top 10 must-visit places in Benin. Each location from the royal palaces of Abame's historical grandeur to the serene beauty of Penjari National Park offers a unique travel experience. The floating city of Ganvi and the vibrant culture of Ouida are sure to leave you captivated. Cotonou with its bustling markets and urban charm, and Porto Novo's blend of tradition and modernity provide a taste of Benin city life. Grand Popo's idyllic beaches and Natitingu's mountainous landscape offer natural beauty, while Dasa's sacred caves hold spiritual significance. Finally, the door of no return, a poignant reminder of a dark chapter in human history, offers a powerful and moving experience. Each location in its unique way contributes to the rich tapestry that is Benin. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, kindly like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and happy travels.